afternoon. I'm Officer Steve Moore with the Little Rock Police Department Public Affairs Division. Today we are here to brief you regarding the missing person case of Ebby Stedvick, who went missing in 2015. I'm here with Investigator Tommy Hudson of the Little Rock Police Department Cold Case Unit, Lieutenant Crystal Haskins, the Homicide Commander of the Little Rock Police Department, and Pulaski County Coroner Jerome Hobbs. This time I'm going to turn it over to Lieutenant Haskins to brief you on the investigation. As Steve has said, we are here to provide an update regarding the Ebby Stepic case and the efforts of our cold case unit. We have been able to make strides in this case due to the tenacity of this unit, which is comprised of retired homicide detectives. We will now allow investigator Tommy Hudson to provide a limited briefing. On October 26, 2015, the family of Ebby Stepic made a missing person report with the Little Rock Police Department. Uh, she was last seen and heard from on October 24, 2015. A short time later, within that same week, her vehicle, a Volkswagen Passat, was located in Shalomont Park in West Little Rock. Uh, the case was initially assigned to violent crimes detectives with, detectives with the Little Rock Police Department who listed her as a missing person and put out alerts and flyers, processed evidence from the scene where her vehicle was located and submitted that evidence to the Arkansas State Crime Lab. In May of 2017, this case was reassigned to the Little Rock Police Department Homicide Unit for homicide investigators to do follow-up investigation on the initial investigation done by violent crimes. During the course of that investigation, all evidence that was previously submitted to the Arkansas State Crime Lab was re-evaluated by the Homicide Unit and resubmitted to the State Crime Lab for further evaluation. During that time period, it was also determined to conduct a cadaver dog search in the area of Shalomont Park where Ms. Stevick's vehicle was last seen. Cadaver dogs searched that area for over three days and didn't locate any kind of scent that would lead us to believe that Ms. Stevick was in that area. In May of 2017, the Little Rock Police Department established a homicide cold case unit consisting of homicide detectives that had retired from the police department. We picked up the Abby Stevick case and started reevaluating the initial investigation and what had been done during the course of that investigation since she was first reported missing. During the course of that investigation, more evidence was resubmitted to the Arkansas State Crime Lab with some positive results that led us to believe that we need to search the area of Shalomont Park again. Investigators with the Cold Case Homicide Unit came up with several theories that some of the possibilities of what may have occurred or what may have happened that led to the disappearance of Ms. Stebby. During the course of these theories, we tried to come up with different scenarios of what it may have been if something had happened to her where her car was located, where we would need to look at in that area to try to find any kind of other evidence. With the cooperation of the Little Rock Field Office of the FBI and the Public Works Department, we decided to conduct a search of the piping and drainage system close to the area where Mrs. Stebbett's car was initially found in 2015. With the assistance of the Public Works Department, we used uh, robots with video cameras that we were able to send down the drains. Eventually, starting from the top drain where her car was found, we hit obstructions 70 feet down from the top part of where her car was. We then took the same robots and ran them back up the other end from the drain up another 130 feet and located another obstruction. Neither one of these obstructions were human remains, but they piqued our interest that we had an obstruction from 70 feet from the top from 130 feet from the bottom. After consultation with the Little Rock FBI office, we made the determination that we needed to excavate this area to see what was inside the pipe itself. We actually have photos where we were able to see the obstructions, but none of those obstructions, like I said, were human remains. At 10.30 hours on Tuesday morning, we located the piping section that we believe we need to open up to see what the obstru obstruction was. Upon opening that pipe, uh, cold case investigators located human remains inside that pipe. At that time, we shut everything down and immediately went to try to search for the family of Ms. Stevick to let them know we had found human remains. Once that notification was made prior to the media being notified, we then went back to the scene and created a new crime scene with the assistance of the Little Rock Field Office, the FBI, their evidence recovery team, and the Pulaski County Coroner's Office. That process took several hours to recover those remains along with new evidence that we did find inside this piping system. All that evidence has been retained by the Little Rock Police Department. The remains were sent to the Arkansas State Crime Lab for positive identification 
and we'll be waiting for the testing results on that evidence that was taken from those pipes. The cold case unit will continue to work with the Jernigan and Stepick family to bring a resolve to this matter. The Little Rock Police Department would like to thank the following for their assistance in this investigation. The local FBI field office, the Arkansas State Crime Lab, City of Little Rock Public Works, the Pulaski County Coroner's Office, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, and the Attorney General's Office. The Little Rock Police Department Homicide Cold Case Unit requests anyone having any information about the disappearance of Abby Stebby to call us at area code 501-404-3128. Your information will be held in strict confidence. We know that there are people out there that have information about this case. We're asking those people to come forward.